for today, we're going to talk about introduction to diodes. Uh, this will be our second subtopic or our subtopic two in our uh, semiconductor topics. So diodes. So what is a diode? Diode is actually a combination of the p-type and the n-type material. When we combine these two material, we form what we call a diode. A diode basically is a type of uh, uh, electrical element that can conduct current in one direction only. So whenever we have a P-type material and join with an N-type, okay, we have a diode. And diode has actually terminals, what we call anode and cathode, denoted as A and K. Anode is the positive side of the diode, and the cathode is actually the negative side of the diode. So we have also a depletion region in between the P-type and the N-type uh, uh, diode, okay? P-type and N-type material. Okay, so that is basically a, a diode. This is a structure of the diode. So a diode is a device that conducts current only in one direction, as I said a while ago. So basically, if it con conducts current in only one direction, then definitely in the other direction, it does not conduct. So hence, it is proven that this diode can be used as a switch. Sometimes it can conduct in one direction, but when the current is reverses its direction, it cannot conduct. So it can act also as a switch. So a diode has many uses. The PN junction is the feature that allows the diodes to work. When PN junction is formed, a positive and negative layers of charges is also created called the depletion region, just like what we have said here, the depletion region. There is a positive and negative layers of charges due to the material of P-type and N-type. And this uh, PN junction allows the diode to, to operate. Okay, So, uh, potential difference of the electron electric field across the depletion region is the amount of voltage required to move electron through the electric field. So, because of the charges present here in the P-type and the N-type, okay, if you want to move the electrons, okay, from P type to N type, assuming that that is the correct direction, okay, we need to apply some voltage in order for this uh, charges, electrons here, move so that we will be able to produce current. And that potential difference is what we call the barrier potential, and it is actually expressed in volts. So diode biasing. So uh, how do we bias? Bias is a term that is being used to the application of DC voltage in a diode. So Biasing means application of DC voltage in a diode to establish certain operating conditions for an electronic device. So in this biasing, we have two bias condition. We have the forward bias and we have the reverse bias. Let's go first for the forward bias. Forward bias is a type of bias that allows current in diode. Okay. So if the diode is conducting current, then it is said to be in the forward bias. So how do we have forward bias? We have forward bias if the positive terminal of our source is connected to the anode okay, or the positive side also of the diode, positive to positive, and the negative side of the bias voltage is connected to the cathode. Okay, So the purpose of resistor here is to limit the current flowing in the diode so that the diode uh, uh, does not get destroyed okay, by overcurrent. So here are the conditions for the forward bias as I have said a while ago. The positive terminal of the battery must be connected to the positive side or the anode of the diode. And of course, the negative side should be connected to the negative side. And uh, second one is that the biasing voltage should be greater than the forward voltage of the diode. So in the case of silicon, it is 0.7 volts. So this voltage bias must be greater, must be greater than 0.7 volts for this to conduct current. If this is less than 0.7, then this diode will not turn on and will not conduct current because it must it must exceed, okay, the forward voltage that uh, should be required in order for this diode to operate. So forward voltage, the voltage at which the current through PN junction starts increasing rapidly. This is also called the knee voltage, knee voltage or forward voltage. So for different semiconductor, different semiconductor, we have different forward voltage at 
the standard temperature 25 degrees Celsius. For germanium, we have 0 0.3 volts. For silicon, we have 0 0.7 volts. For selenium, selenium we have 1.0 volts. For gallium arsenide, we have 1.2 volts. So again, a resistor should be connected here okay, in series with the diode to prevent the overcurrent and damage to the diode. So temperature also plays an important uh, role about um, the knee and forward voltage of a certain semiconductor. So a fundamental picture of what happens when a diode is in forward bias is shown below. When the, when the uh, diode is forward biased, okay, meaning here is the positive side of the voltage source, and we have the negative side of the voltage source, what happens is that the, in the P region, okay, P region, we have negative charges, we have electrons. Some of the electrons will actually be attracted to this positive charge, okay, positive uh, source, okay, so that the electrons move from, from this position to this position, oh, leaving these uh, white holes as holes and vacancies. So because of the positive um, uh, voltage source applied here, of course, some of the electrons here, of course, in N region also, would actually would want to uh, get close as much as possible to this because this is a positive charge and this is a negative. So it would be attracted with the positive terminal of the voltage source. So the electron tends to move and if possible, can cross between this depletion region. Okay, until such time that these electrons would actually move here, producing current. Okay, and uh, because of this negative voltage source applied by the voltage source, this negative or electrons would try to run away further as much as much further away in this negative terminal because again loss of uh, charges. Okay, positive. Uh, light charges repel and unlike charges attract. So that there is a continuous flow of electrons okay, in our diode because of the applied potential difference. Okay? So effect of forward bias in the depletion region. So if the, if the diode is in forward bias, then definitely the depletion region Again, in the forward bias, there is a narrowing of the depletion region. Whereas if in it is in reversed bias, okay, um, there is a broadening of depletion region. At equilibrium, no bias. Here is the, the width of the depletion region. and But forward bias makes the depletion region small, okay, in width. So in reverse bias... Uh, it is actually the condition that essentially prevents the current through the diode. So in other words, the diode is not working or turned off in reverse bias. So the conditions for reverse bias is that uh, the negative side of the voltage source must be connected to the positive side or anode of the diode and the positive side of the voltage source should be connected to the negative side of the or cathode of the diode. So in that case, we have a reverse bias. Meaning, there is no current, okay? Uh, actually, a large current, okay, uh, in the device. But we have what we call a reverse current. This is an extremely small amount current that exists in reverse bias. But this is so small that it can be neglected, okay? The reverse bias condition, again, essentially prevents the current currents through the diode. So, in other words, the diode can actually act as a switch. In a forward bias, the switch is turned on when if that is reversed bias, then the diode is switched off. So it can act as a switch diode that big, because um, actually the, the basic use of diode is a switch. Okay, In reverse bias, what happens is that we have the negative side here okay, of the terminal of the battery. And we have the positive side here. So what happens is that uh, in the P region, okay, in the P region, there is a... Uh, uh, the presence of the holes and of course since this is a negative terminal the electrons should be what repelled as much as far away from this okay and of course in the positive side in the n region where majority carriers are the uh, electrons it is attracted to the positive side so what happens is that because of the negative side here 
Okay? Some of the minority carriers in the P region is what? Repelled so that it goes to the depletion region. And of course, because of the positive terminal here of the voltage source, the holes or the positive side or the positive particles here in the N region uh, would repel on this. Uh, uh, this positive side or positive charges would go into the depletion region. That results to the widening of the uh, depletion region because of the deposits of uh, these uh, electrons and, of course, the positive charges or holes. So the reverse current is actually uh, exists in reverse bias. Okay, it actually exists because uh, some of the current, as I've said a while ago, in reverse bias is actually there is still some electrons traveling from P to N, okay, but very, very small. Some of the electrons overcome the depletion region so that producing a very small amount of current. So the reverse current for certain semiconductor is presented here. For the germanium, 1 microampere. For the silicon, 10 picoampere. Gallium arsenide, 1 picoampere. That is a very small amount of current. Reverse breakdown, the reverse current will drastically increase that will cause possible damage to the device. If the reverse voltage, let's say bias voltage is increased, okay, there is a possibility that the reverse current will drastically increase, okay? Then that is what we call the reverse breakdown. So peak inverse voltage or short, shortly called as PIV, it is defined as the maximum reverse voltage that a diode can withstand without being destroyed, okay? So that is the maximum inverse voltage that we can apply, okay, without the diode being destroyed because if we increase it in a reverse manner way, the peak inverse voltage, if it exceeds the peak inverse voltage, the diode can be destroyed. A diode is used to block the electric flow in one direction, in forward direction, and block in the reverse direction. This principle makes us work as rectifier. Rectifier is actually a very important circuit wherein the alternating current is converted into direct current, and that is what we are trying to use in a transformer in a power supply, a rectifier. A diode can also be used as a switch. Okay, so here are some characteristics uh, of a diode, characteristic curve. Okay, this is the uh, non-ideal. Okay, when we increase the forward voltage, there is a forward current. Forward current is the current that exists when the, the diode is in forward bias. And of course, reverse current is the current that exists in reverse voltage. As you can see, when we reach the breakdown voltage, the current or the reverse current increases drastically. Okay, So, diode current equation, I will just present it to you. Okay, Though you will be studying it in your electronics. So, we have the diode equation. We have temperature effects. As, as we can see uh, here in the briefly, I will explain this, uh, that the temperature affects the, uh, the working. Okay? voltage or the forward voltage of a certain diode, okay? We have the ideal versus practical diode here, okay? Wherein what I have shown you a while ago is a practical diode, practical diode uh, characteristic curve, and here it is actually the ideal, okay? So we have also the resistance level, wherein by ohms we have the voltage at the diode over the current at the diode. So now I will show you the basic uh, basic configuration for a series diode. So for the series diode configuration bureau, de determine the voltage of the diode, voltage of the resistor, and the current through the diode. So this is actually obtained in a very uh, uh, easy way, KVL. Okay? So as you can see here, let us first analyze if the diode is in forward bias or reverse bias, so we, we can see here that we have a voltage source, 8 volts. Its positive terminal is connected to the positive side of the diode. By the way, this is the schematic diagram for a diode. So this is the positive side, this is the negative side. So positive, positive, and then negative, negative. So therefore, it is in, yes, that's correct. It's in forward bias. So it's, it's actually uh, exceeds the forward voltage of the silicon which is 0.7 okay so because this is 8 volts 
So by KVL, we can solve the voltage at the diode. Whenever this diode is on, okay, the voltage drop across this diode is 0.7 volts, of course. And we can get the voltage drop at the resistor, uh, V sub R, by performing uh, KVL. So we have V sub R equals E minus V sub T, that is 8 volts minus 0.7 volts. We have 7.3 volts, okay? So, since this is a series circuit, since this is a series circuit, the current through the diode and the current through the resistor is the same, okay? So, we have ID minus IR, and by Ohm's law, we can use V over uh, R. So, we have V sub R, okay, voltage at the resistor, R, okay, we have 7.3 over 2.2 kilo ohms, that is 3.32 milli. Ampere. So that is basically how we solve some basic series diode configuration. So thank you so much for listening. Again, this is Engineer Abbott. See you again on the next video and I hope you learned something today. Thank you.